Hi everyone, James G Zero C here. Sorry if I sound a bit funny. I've got a very uh, sore throat today. Um, I've just got uh, a new um, radio here that's just been delivered. Actually, it comes from uh, Martin Lynch. If you see uh, Lynchy label there, I thought I'd get it from Lynchy uh, this time. But um, just about to open it, and uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is until I've opened it. <laughs> I thought it'd be a surprise. <laughs> So anyone that's watching. Right, okay, let's open it up. We'll soon see what it is. And uh, all I can tell you, it's not for HF. I know I'm a bit of an HF man myself. And, uh, but I thought I'd do an unboxing uh, video. It's the, uh, all I can tell you is it was £469.95. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's put that there. Let's, um, let's get on with the uh, unpacking. Let's see. Right, that's that. I'll just chuck that down there for now. <laughs> okay, they packed it certainly well, that's for sure. Let's have a look. Have you guessed yet what radio it is? Right, let's have a look now. It's not the best of light in the kitchen. I'm on the kitchen table at the moment. So hopefully uh, you've got this okay. Okay, well that's the uh, FGPS1, which is the GPRS uh, unit for it. And that is the radio. I don't know if you can see that. It is the new Yesu FTM350. Okay, let's, put, let's unbox it and, uh, and have a quick look. Let me just see if I can... Uh, is this the camera good enough? Let me uh, just, um, yeah, okay. Let's have a look how is it boxed up and so forth. Oh, okay, goes from the side, opens from the side then. It's a box where you can actually pull it out, that's good. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's have a look. We've got a manual, just uh, position the camera a little bit. Uh, there, let me just uh, lower it down a little bit so you can see. Hopefully, you can see this. Anyone that's buying this radio, you'll know what it looks like before you get it. Okay, warranty card, I'll fill that out later. Yeah, manual, That's the manual for it. Put them all over there, I think, for now. We've got so, what we've got, we've got fuses. Now we got, uh, not sure what they're for yet. What kind of cabling, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure I'll find out. I'm not too sure what they are. I think they're feet for the bottom of something. We've got screws here. I'm presuming that's for the bracket of the actual transceiver. Let's um, stick that there. Let's have a, let's have a look at this um, the transceiver. Wow. God, I can't believe how heavy that is. It's unbelievably heavy for such a small, small. Oh God, that's really, God, it's really, uh, really solid. That is solid metal. That's not plastic. If you can hear the tapping in the kitchen, it's actually my dog on the kitchen floor, and he's tapping his uh, toenails on the floor, on the laminate flooring. So uh, that's the, um, that's the TX, uh, the radio part. Let's show you what I've got on here. I've got. Um, an antenna it's got a data cable out which is good for uh, certain things I'll find out more about it later on that's the 13.8 uh, volt what we got here we got uh, line in that's good we've got extension speaker I'll definitely be using the extension speaker is if I like this radio I've got this radio for the shack if I like it I'm gonna get one for me uh, for me van as well I've got a van that I use for work and uh, I'm going to stick one in the van. It's got a mic here, and this cable is, I think, is the control cable. Yep, that's for the control head. But I can't believe how heavy that is. Little speaker here. I think it's got two speakers on the control head, and it's got a speaker on the uh, on the actual radio part. God, that's so that's so heavy. It's it's not very big. It's very very small. Can't believe that uh, produces 50 watts of power on two meters and. Uh, 
so forth. I can't believe it. That's just rock solid. Whatever that is. Just giving it to my partner, so she. Good, yeah. It's really heavy, isn't it? Really. Exactly. Heavy. That's um. Obviously, this is the heat sink. There's no fan on the uh, 350, so the actual uh, it acts as a heat sink. But uh, God, it's well, uh, well solid and really, really heavy. Okay, let's um, let's stick that there a minute. What have we got here? This um, if you can see in the camera there or not. And uh, this here we've got the, uh, the microphone. I shan't be using this microphone a lot. I've um, I've ordered another cable from uh, Martin Lynch. And that's for uh, a cable that goes to uh, the radio from the uh, i+. So that I'm going to be using the same microphone. That's the uh, microphone, DTMF. I shan't be using that a lot. Things like Echolink I'll be using it and that's about it really. I'll be using my uh, studio mic and just switch it across on the i+. Let's uh, stick that there. This is the um, the cup holder which um, takes the um, control head. I'm hoping it would be uh, adequate enough. It certainly looks it. I think you uh, I think you um, screw it down. As you screw it down, this plate here sucks upwards. It's okay if you've got a very flat surface. Luckily enough, my uh, my radio room shelving, the beach effect is really, really flat like glass, so should uh, be no worries. This is the bracket for the... Uh, you can see uh, it's only a small bracket. It's only a small uh, radio on the radio part. Let me just stick that on there. Let's, uh, okay, now for the, uh, the fun bit. What have we got here? We've got a... I think that's the control cable for the for the uh, the head. This is obviously the power cable. It's quite a neat uh, neat package. And now for the uh, actual radio itself. Let's, um, let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Let's um, show you that quickly. One side's for uh, or VHF or UHF. And, uh, that feels nice very nice let's have a look at the back this here is where the um, GPS unit which I'll be fitting in a minute fits into the radio I'm not a great lover of GPRS but uh, it actually came with the radio so um, I'll be sort of trying it out and uh, seeing what it's like I mainly got it for uh, 2 and 70 and look, repeater work in the echo link etc but uh, I'm going to run it for a TNC and uh, get my own node sorted out but um, it's a very nice radio it's going to look uh, great in the uh, in the shack or uh, in my van if it's a really good radio and I like the display when I switch it on and so forth I like the way you can uh, change the colours, eight different colours on the display which is great but if it's nice I thought I'd have it for the van as well so I'll get myself another one for when I'm mobile but, uh, yeah nice nice radio that okay so um that's the uh the radio and that's the bits that it came in i thought i'd just um do a quick video of uh, me unboxing it so anyone looking at this video this is the uh, let me just show you quickly this is the um gprs uh, module that uh, i believe a cable uh, fits to the back of this and it just screws in place I think I'll hand it very carefully. So it's certainly well pack it. So a quick gander. Right. Yeah, there's a very very thin cable. I don't know if you can uh, see this here. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but um it's a very uh, very thin little cable that plugs in there. And then that goes in there like that. So the uh, GPRS is actually in. Uh, I'll let you know how I get on and I'm going to do another video uh, very shortly of um, when it's all installed in the shack so I'll do another video for that but I can't uh, tell you the first thing that will shock you if you get one of these radios is the weight of this thing here the, uh, the actual radio part it's uh, really solid solid metal and it weighs a ton but um, I wouldn't want to drop that on my foot put it that way okay well I'll say seven threes and uh, thanks for watching this uh, short video
and uh, hopefully the next video will be uh, it up and running in my shack. I'll do that in a few days. In a few days, seven threes from G Zero SEC.